In this video, I'm going to give you some tips to help you discover new films to watch, because we all know that feeling when we're just totally at a loose end and we just don't know what to watch next. My name is Elliot and this channel is typically all about collecting films on Blu-ray, but this video is going to be applicable to anyone who watches films, whether that's on physical media or on digital streaming. As someone who runs a film YouTube channel, I get asked all of the time from friends, colleagues and family about what they should watch next. So I thought I'd make this video for all of these people and they can find new films themselves because it really is easy. If I can do it, you can do it too. So number one, and this is probably something that you're doing already, that is leveraging these digital streaming platforms that we have. So I'm talking about Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, etc. There are so many of these services now that there are at any time thousands of movies up online that we can watch if we have these digital subscriptions. This channel is usually about collecting films on discs, but it would be totally dishonest of me to say that streaming platforms don't have a lot of good uses if you know how to use them. Many of these streaming services run algorithms which take the data from what you've already been watching and they extrapolate that to find new things that they think you will like. This can be very handy, but the downside of this is these services often skew the way these algorithms promote certain things. For example, with Netflix, their algorithm will promote Netflix produced content over any other content. And this makes sense from a business perspective because they want their viewers to be talking about Netflix's own shows and movies over anything else because it's just free publicity for them at the end of the day. As a user of the platform, this doesn't really help us because we just want to watch the best movies. We don't care who made them. We just want to watch the very best and have a great time. So in that respect, these streaming services don't hold up too well to helping us discover new films. To highlight this point, a real weak spot in Netflix's catalogue and many other streaming services is world cinema, so films that are made outside of the English language. And it's perhaps that these are just not popular on the platforms, therefore they don't promote them. But it's a real shame for someone who wants to discover great world cinema. You just don't know where to go if you're solely looking at what's promoted to you on these streaming platforms. Moving on from these streaming platforms, my next tip is just to get talking about movies. That could be with your friends and family, it could be with people at work, or it could be with people that you don't actually know in real life, you just know them through the internet, such as myself, for example. You could watch my videos and just follow the recommendations that I give and maybe make a note, add them to your watch list. And that can be a great way to find films that you think you will enjoy. Because if you do this over a long period of time and keep coming back to the same people, you know whose tastes are most in line with yourself. So that could be me, it could be a certain film critic, someone who runs a podcast, whatever. You know that when you follow their recommendations, you're going to find something that you enjoy. It might seem like an obvious point, but I have found so many great films just from watching other people's YouTube channels and from listening to podcasts. So it can really be helpful to know that you trust certain people for movie recommendations. Moving on, this next tip is probably the best way to discover new films, and that is using film aggregate review websites. Now, if you don't know what that means, I'm talking about websites like IMDb, Rotten Tomatoes, and my personal favourite, Letterboxd. These websites have made their name in collecting a large number of reviews from critics and just everyday normal people like myself, and collecting the data and giving an average score. So when you go onto IMDb, every film there has a score, and that score is collected from everyone else's opinions put into one bundle, and they take an average. This can be really helpful because you can then 
view lists of films ranked based on their overall average score. So on IMDb, there is a top 250 movie list. And most people look at that as the top 250 movies of all time. In fact, it's very hard to call it that because that's just taking opinions from a certain type of people and a certain way that people are voting on these things. So it isn't necessarily a true reflection of the best films of all time. It's just an average look at those films. So the downside is that these average scores don't really give us much context as to why the film is good or why the people think this. So one of the best ways to counteract this is when people have written full length reviews on why they love these films. So that's where Letterboxd comes into play. If you haven't joined Letterboxd, then you absolutely should. And if you want to follow me, I'm Elliot underscore Cohen. So definitely do that because I always keep track of my film diary on there. But what you can do on Letterboxd, you can look at people's reviews and people give such great insights as to why they like to film. And like I was talking about trusting certain people's opinions on film, you can follow people on Letterboxd and you can filter it so you only see their reviews. So that can be really helpful. Beyond that, on Letterboxd, there are also user curated lists. So people will make, I don't know, top 50 South Korean movies or top 100 films made during the 1970s, things like that. So you can really get a great bird's eye view of lots of different films that you might never have heard of before. Like many of these other ways of finding films, Letterboxd does have its downsides. One of the things that I really don't like about the website nowadays is that many of the reviews aren't really reviews. They're just jokes or memes. People just wanting attention, so they try to post the funniest one-liner about films. And, you know, I've been guilty of that in the past, for sure. It's basically turned into Twitter for films, where people just want to say the funniest thing and get it shared all around the website. But nevertheless, you can still use this website to find so many great new films. For my last quick tip on how to discover new movies to watch, I'm going to bring it back round to collecting films on disc, because one of the greatest ways that I have found to discover new films is buying films on disc and following certain labels and looking at the type of films that they release. The most famous of these labels, and one that I talk about a lot on this channel, is of course the Criterion Collection. And they have been going for over 30 years, releasing so many great films. They have over 1,000 films in their library. And you can find so many gems in their collection. I can't even begin to talk about how many films I have discovered just because they were in the Criterion collection. So what I would say to you is even if you don't want to collect films on disc, go over to the Criterion Collection website and just have a look at the films that they have listed there. There's so much to choose from, so much to look at. On their website, they post articles and they also post top 10 lists from famous people and filmmakers and things like that. So you can get an insight as to why certain people, whether that's Guillermo del Toro or Terry Gilliam or whoever else, you can have a look at their top 10 films in the Criterion Collection and really find out why they love them and then perhaps why you might then love them in return. So that's about all I wanted to say in this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and if I have missed any other ways that you think are great ways to discover new films then please do let me know in the comments below. I will be back very soon with more videos on films and discovering new films and I will be giving further recommendations of films that I've been loving. So if you like that kind of thing stick around and I'll see you in the next video. So keep watching great films.